Hey everyone, welcome to Pillow Talk. Um, today we have a very special guest and we'll just hop right into it. Okay, so first things first, state your name, age, occupation. Uh, well my, my name's Sarah Hildebrand, but my name's kind of sometimes, sometimes it's Annie <laughs> Sandemus, sometimes, well most of the time it's Sarah, yeah. <laughs> all the time it's Sarah, but you know. Cute. Age, occupation. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> fuck. I'm 28, which is this is the first time I've had, I've had to say on anything that I'm 28 years old. So that's it sounds weird. I just I stopped for a second to remember how old like, I was. Oh, yeah. I'm 20 years old, and occupation. I guess I'm I'm a model still, and I will I am a porn star because I'm gonna shoot later this month, um, again for the first time in like a year, and uh, yeah. Coming back. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, what's your current relationship status? Um, as Facebook would say, <laughs> complicated. It's complicated. Um, because, Always. like, I've been fucking this guy for the past, like, six months, like, exclusively, and, um, Lucky. he doesn't want me to get another boyfriend, but he doesn't want to be my official boyfriend, because then he can get mad at me. Which is funny, because, like, we were saying earlier, like, I was like, <laughs> you're like, I'm like, you can still get mad at him all the time. I'm like, trust me, I am mad at him all the time, and he knows it. Doesn't um, need to be your boyfriend, baby. But he, <laughs> I'm in love with him. So cute. Oh, fuck. Do you not? He knows it, and, you know. Um, what is your definition of love? My definition of love is if I could, if I think of, if I'm with somebody and I could Imagine carrying their child inside of me for nine months and not being totally grossed out that, that, that their sperm was growing like, and living uh. inside of my body and I was like helping it live and nurturing Alien it. In there. Then that means I'm in love with them. True. Very not that true. I like want to like have a baby anytime soon, but like you know what I mean. Like I'm just saying like that's that's my definition of love. Yeah, that's a huge thing. I mean. It's not just anyone who you're going to... Oh, my God. I'm so fucking picky, too. I'm so picky. You have to be. I know. I'm just picky in general because I'm weird. <laughs> what I, what I like in real life. Um, so, describe yourself as a lover. What do you like in bed? What turns you on? What gets I you like, I like a lot of foreplay. And, like, you know, I, I would say I'm not a size queen. I, I like big dicks. I don't need to have a big dick. I don't need to have one. As long as you know how to work. As long as you know how to work it, and you, and you like come in the bedroom, and you're like, I got, or come in the bedroom, or, or that's like, that's magic, the cat. Um, as long as long as you like come in the bedroom, like you got a big dick, and you're yeah. or not even in the bedroom, but the living room, big dick the mentality, car, I'm dead. The, the gas station bathroom, you know, and yeah. you like are like, and you act like your Boy, dick man. is like whatever, and you're the shit. It's like all about confidence. It's all about um, you I know. agree. It's a mindset. Get into yeah, it. I like, I like foreplay. I like making out. Me too. I'm a good kisser. I know that I am. I'll make up for hours. I'm like a little teenager. I like to suck song. dick. My pussy gets so wet yes. when I suck dick. Yes. Because I know that I can do it really good, and I know that like the guy likes it. And I'm like ah. I'm I such know. a. I'm a giver. I'm a Libra, so I'm a pleaser. Oh my god, me too. I'm like a giver, and <laughs> I, it it kills me and it fucks me up I all know. the time. But like you know, dead. But you have to. If you don't take pride in your blowjobs, one, you probably don't know how to do them. Until you're fucking up, like... Well, like, you gotta, like, like if you got a man, you have to just, like, whip his dick out and suck it sometimes, not expect anything <laughs> in return, and, like... You should do it, because you love to do it. Yeah, Because you I love, love your man. Exactly. I'm a... Yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> Dead. Um, do you have a type of guy that you normally go for? I have a, such a specific type, and the guy that, like, I've been kind of seeing or whatever isn't that at all but it's just weird but he's really smart and he's funny and he, I like him a lot and uh, he also like plays mind games with me so I love it I'm like oh, oh my, my god, god. <laughs> keeps it interesting <laughs> You're like, yeah I know I, I love I love assholes um <laughs> Raphael from Ninja Turtles was my first crush crying because he was a dick and I'm like four years old and I'm like yeah I like him because okay. personality yeah my cousin was like I like that because purple is my favorite color and I was like you like, are not so basic. not. <laughs> you don't get it. Like, you know, like if he said he was smart and was a genius in creating things, like, that'd be different. But yeah. like, but, but like, purple, give me a break. Raphael, <laughs> like he's you know, it's more than that. It's more on the surface. But yeah, I like uh, guys. Not ninety nine percent of the time, long hair. If yeah. you don't have long, if I, I always like say this, your hair don't come down here. You can't ride this ride. <laughs> so. Whoa. 
<gasps> yeah. Long hair. Skinny, you, I'm just tall. like imagining you with another long haired, like, babely guy. Just like getting oh, it. Oh, hair everywhere. Funny, I'll show, I'll show so you. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, now, what would your ideal relationship look like? Well, my ideal relationship, I would be, like, married to a rich guy and have, like, a baby and, like, not work ever and just lay around our amazing house all day while me just cleaned like, it. hot housewife. And, yeah, and, like, he'd just be like, here's my credit card bill. Like, go make yourself look amazing. And that's never happened. Oh, my God. That needs to happen. I'm with that. Well, because I love assholes. I love fixer-uppers. Like, I love, I like, I love the broken-down puppy rocker boy or Bro- rapper artist. boy that's, like, like... Oh man, like oh, my life sucks, but you're so beautiful, and I'm like, come I with me, baby. My emotions. Everything. I'll make everything better. <laughs> Quit your job. You don't have to have a job. I don't Move want you to. Move in with me. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just let me pamper you. You know. Sugar mama. Same mold, though. Same. But that's bad. I know. That's why guys need to work for it. But I like I'm sick of taking people. care of all your dumbasses. Um. Same. Okay. Describe dating in LA. Well, I haven't had to really, like, date around, around. Usually, like, I'm, like, a serial monogamist. Even though I do porn and, like, fuck for money. Um, It's just, like, like, you know, I'm, like, when it comes to relationships and giving a shit about the person and being into that one particular person, I've had a boyfriend since I was 15, pretty yeah. much. Like, <laughs> and not on purpose. Like, oh. I date somebody for two or three years and then we break up and immediately I've, fall in love with somebody that falls in love with me so fast and we just love each other so much and we be around each other yeah. all the time and, and then we are together for two or three years and then it happens again. And yeah. it's, I, I just, it just happens like that. I'm not like seeking or anything, but like this is the first time in a long forever, you know, that I've like just been kind of like non-committed, com- committed, because like in my mind, yeah. I'm committed to this yeah. person. But at the same time, shit happens. Um, yeah. But, <laughs> you know, I... I, I, dating in LA, I found, like, is kind of tough because, like, everybody yeah. out here is, you know, a trans, usually they're a transplant from somebody up, somewhere else, I am, and, Trans. um, everyone out here is here to, to make it in entertainment, which means you gotta be good looking, you gotta, like, network, and I, I, it's hard because I feel like a lot of people are networking when they want to talk to me. Yeah, or they like same. they they know who I am and they have a whole different impression of like what I've got going on in my life and, and what I can offer. They know you already yeah, or and then something? they meet me and then they're like they're either super taken back that I'm not what they thought and it's a good thing, or they're super taken back that they meet me and they're like, "You're not with thought you were, which I thought that you were, were like this." I don't know, whatever. Like, they think I'm, like, this big slut. And I'm, like, not... (laughs) I'm not, like, a real slut. I'm a business slut. Yeah. (laughs) Trust me. I'm a a business slut. But, like, when it comes to, like, just, like... I can't can't be that girl that walks in the party and is, like, all your friends gather around, whip your dicks out. I can't do that. No. That's not me. Don't do that. I'm, like, just you. Yeah, just you. I'll do whatever you want. (laughs) But just for you. In front of everyone, yes, but just you. Yeah. Just the one. I'm dead. Um... Do you have any rules for dating or, like, specific guidelines, or do you normally just kind of jump in and go with the flow? I just kind of, like, I'm such a, like, a hopeless romantic. I jump in and go with the flow, which is, like, good and bad, yeah. mostly bad. Um, like, I got married. I'm still legally married. Oh, no way. Want to see The Rock? I'm Ooh. dead. <laughs> um, well, uh, last year, it's pretty funny. I, got, I was with this dude. I was on a super rebound from this other dude. And I, it was the only relationship I had where I met, I, I, I wanted to be with the guy strictly because I thought he was the most beautiful person I'd ever uh-huh. seen in my life. And Dang. then I got to know him. Usually it's, I get to, to know, know him and then I think he's the hottest guy. Yeah, in the world. same. I and not, I think he's the hottest guy in the world and then I like him. Like yeah. I, I didn't actually get to know the real him until we uh, signed legal documents. Where did you get married? This Mexican ghetto walk-in <laughs> place in Koreatown that was down oh the street God. from my place. Is it? I'm on, gonna get divorced is it on too. Normandy? Yeah. It's the what, like married and divorced spot. Yeah. Oh my Our God! Our friend I know Ariel exactly Pink there. got married there too. So <laughs> I'm really dead. I know exactly where that spot is. I used to. Yeah, I got there married too. there, and like the whole time that like it was like they're like closing yeah. almost, and the, <laughs> the lady's kid was like in this little closet. She put him in the closet, and he was like. Uh, her kid, the whole time, she's, like, reading our, like, vows and everything because we didn't make any. And um, the kid was like, Mommy, I want to go home. 
like, he's like, like kicking in the closet. <laughs> he's like, baby, shh. And I'm, you know, that's what happened. I was 